Let me show you how to create this apocalyptic scene using some easy AI techniques and After Effects. Let's dive into it. So for this video, I searched far and wide, trying to find the perfect character in front of a green screen to create this composite, but couldn't find one, so I decided to make my own. Let me show you. All right, so I'm in Mid Journey. I'm gonna add my prompt and I'm gonna specify that I want my character on a green screen. And it comes back with a few great character variations. I'm gonna go with this one. So now that I have my still image of my character, I'm gonna bring this into Minimax and I'm gonna create an image to video. Here I am in Minimax or Hail UO AI, and I'm gonna hit create, and I'm gonna insert my image that I got from Mid Journey, and I'm gonna add that same prompt. I'm gonna add a few different variations and I'll hit generate. And it comes back with a few really nice clips of the character making realistic movements. Really happy with these. I'll download this. This is a great process if you don't have the stock clip that you want, but you have the resources to create your own. So now we'll jump over to Mid Journey and we'll create our background. All right, just like before, I'll paste my prompt and I'll hit generate. And you see it comes up with some really good options. I'll go with this one. So those of you who don't have Mid Journey, you can do this in Photoshop just using the generative fill, but I found that the results are a little bit better using Mid Journey. Okay, so now that I have my background image, I'm gonna bring it into an image to video like Minimax like I used before, but in this case, I'm gonna bring it into a Runway. If you don't have Runway, there's plenty of other free ones out there you could use, but I'm gonna show you what I do in Runway. In Runway, using the Gen 3 Alpha tool, I'll upload my background image and I'll paste my nice long prompt and I'll hit Generate. And you see that comes back with something that's pretty nice, but it has quite a bit of camera movement of a little bit of dolly movement that I don't actually want. So I'm gonna actually go into the camera control settings and I'm gonna add a slight pan so I know the camera isn't gonna move much. All right, I'm gonna go with that. That looks good. And I'm gonna upscale this to 4K. Okay, so now that I have those assets, I'm gonna bring everything into good old After Effects. So now that I have both of my clips into After Effects, I'm gonna drag my background into a new composition and I'll bring my green screen character as well. And I'll reposition my character and I'll get her right in the position that I want. And going to my effects and presets, I'm gonna drag the key light effect onto my green screen and I'll key out the green screen. And going to my view, I'll go to screen mat and dropping down the screen mat controls, I'll make the background all black and make sure my subject is all white. And I'll go back to final result. And that looks pretty good for now. Now, since our background shot has a little bit of a pan, I'm gonna go to track and stabilize, track camera. And once that analyzes, and I'll pick a point in the foreground right where my subject is, and I'll click on create solid and camera. I'll make my subject layer a 3D layer. I'm gonna parent pick whip my subject to that track solid while holding shift so it maintains the same parameters. And then from here, I'm gonna reposition her quite a bit. All right, now that I have my movement all set, next comes the fun part, adding the finishing touches. So now I'm gonna create more depth of field on my background layer. So to do this, I'm gonna use Runway's Extract Depth tool. If you don't have this, you could actually just create a mask in After Effects, but I'm gonna use this, I'll show you how it works. So in Runway, I'm gonna to go to the Extract Depth tool and I'm gonna upload my video clip of my background. And from there, it just generates a depth map of my video clip. I'll download that, bring it back into After Effects and I'll hide that layer. And in my main layer, I'm gonna bring on the camera lens blur effect. And under blur map, I'm gonna link that depth map layer. And if I zoom in, you can see the background is out of focus and the foreground is in focus. This just adds a nice cinematic look to my scene. Now from there, I just have to color correct my foreground character to match the background. With the Lumetri color effect, I'll adjust the temperature as well as the tint. So it has more of a greenish hue to it, a little saturation. And I'll adjust my exposure and my shadows. And here's the final result. Thanks for watching.